Hey everybody, Michael Waddell here for another edition of Outdoor Bites. We're sitting here with Tiffany and Lee. Oh my goodness. I remember meeting you guys, I think it was at NWTF years ago, or it was a show, and we were just talking just before we started rolling. Literally, we would go work shows together back way before y'all were married. Way before, yeah. And way before road trips. You know, when right. I started Real Tree Road Trip. You were filming for Monster Bucks. 100%. And right. you yeah. were working for Sun Law. That's why a lot of people don't realize how long we've known each other. Like, I always tell people, and they're like, oh, you know, Michael? And I'm like, yeah, we knew Michael when he was a cameraman yeah. for Real Tree. And we would go and right. hang out yeah, at the Real Tree booth selling t shirts, t -shirts. for him and help him out at, at, yeah. at shows. That we were trying to sell stuff for Bill Jordan back in the day. Yep. Yeah. Right. God. Yeah. And those are, like I said, we kind of knew everybody, kind of like, you know, us and, and uh, Jay Gregory and the Drury's, they were all kind of around the same yep. age and everyone yep. kind of doing things at the same time. And it's, it, I think all, maybe people don't realize that, like in the hunting industry, all of us go way back, you know, 20 years, basically, yes. been friends with everybody. Maybe people might think that, hey, there's any competition, but it's not like that at all. I mean, no. it's basically, you know, all of us are friends. We've all been friends for 20 plus years. We've all hunted together, all done stuff. And it's like, It's yeah. funny you say that, because I, I Somebody asked me the other day, so like, you know, same thing. You know Lee and Tiffany really good? I said, oh my God, know them great. Like, man, why wouldn't y'all do even more together? I said, honestly, it's definitely not because we're competitors. I said, the only thing that's competing, I said, Tiffany and Lee have kids. I got five kids. We have a business to run. You know, Lee's got 700 million, 40, 100, 200, 4, 7. Uh, trail cameras out that he's probably looking <laughs> he at does. a computer right now. A little more 100%. than that. Yeah, one more than that, yeah. <laughs> And, and so I said, really, the only competition is just life in general. I mean, right. it's just. It's totally true. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally true. It's funny when you say that about the trail cameras, because the other day I'm like, what are you doing? It's like an hour into it. I'm like packing, of course, because every mom out there knows. It's like if you're going on a trip, the mom is packing everything. And Lee's just sitting there. I'm like, what are you doing? He's I like, I'm it. working. I'm like, it is <laughs> after the hunting season. That does not constitute working right now. Yeah, it's after the season, season coming up. You got to know what's for next year, so, you know. I love it. It's a <laughs> Tiffany, it's funny. I, there's so many stories. I don't even know how long we got. <laughs> we could sit here and talk for hours, but even our relationship, because that's what people don't realize. I mean, right. we would we would work and go work a show, and all we get excited about, like, man, can we go get some chicken wings? I mean, y'all run up Applebee's or Chili's, or we might go steak to rest. It never was these big, yeah. fancy no, steak No, never. Steak and 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 we'd cheese. always end up and, and, you know, maybe go have a beer together and laugh and cut yeah, up. Yeah, because none of us had any money, so we were no, not going to Lord, any fancy dinners. Yeah. You know, and, and nobody knew us then because we were just, right. you know, we, you, was, you was a hunter. I think you was still a flight I was still a flight attendant, attendant at yep. that time. Mm -hmm. um, and, oh, my goodness, I just, the, the fun times we had. And then, obviously, I remember right away, it's like, Lee then was already his obsession for whitetails, not just hunting, like, but like, you know what? I hear that Iowa, I mean, this this is where the big ones are. We, I know oh, this yeah. and I'm like, I know, like, dude, I, mean, I remember he and I talking like, man, that's where we gotta go, man. That's where we gotta get. Well, guess what? Lee ends up marrying you with a bow in his hand, you and your boy, yeah, and, and y'all go to I and move to Iowa. And I'm like, man, this dude was serious. 100% serious. Yeah. And you know, that's the one nice thing about Lee, Lee this narrative of, of his life and what's important to it has literally never changed no, since I met you. Maybe when we started yeah. dating, she was a flight attendant. I said, ah, you know, I, I heard like down in the <laughs> in that southwest corner of Nebraska by the Republican River down there, there's supposed to be some good bucks down there. Let's fly into Denver and we'll rent a car and we'll drive down there and check all this stuff out. We had three flights and stuff, so that's what we did. And so I like, people like now, but I've always been obsessed with deer. You 1,000%. Know? And, but I even still, back then, that's yeah. what we did for fun that's though. We'd we fly someplace fun. and check out places for, for, for hunting that I heard that there were some big deer there. So we'd fly out, rent a car and go check it out. It, and it's still that way. And, and there, to me, when it comes to couples that hunt, cause there's a lot of couples that hunt, y'all's dynamic I knew immediately it was going to be such a huge hit because of the personalities. You know, Tiffany never was. I remember Tiffany just was always so happy. I never, I used to think, man, does this girl ever, you know, get mad? Yeah, she ever see, down and I'm not sure to leave. But for me, I never saw that. Like, yeah. I knew Tiffany was always happy and, and be, almost felt like she should have a cheerleading skirt on all the time. Like, just rooting right. for humanity. No matter what you want to do. It was and always, it, you want to go skydiving? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. No. And so, and, but, but what I loved about Tiffany, she never come across like, you know, I know everything about whitetails. She'd yeah. be like, hey, are we going to go to the mall? Or are we going hunting? 
<laughs> just let me know because I need to know what to wear. <laughs> I need to know what to pack and what to wear. Yeah, but if we hunt today, will I get a pedicure tomorrow? You know, it's like, you know, right. so she kept the so feminine, so beautiful, and and it, it just worked where you know, and then and then Lee, the mad scientist. I mean, yeah, I, he's the he's the he serious is. side of it. Yep, one hundred percent. You know, it's funny because we'll go to appearances and people are like. Why don't you step out of the picture? And Lee's like, well, you're gonna, what do you always say? Oh, He's yeah, like, it's like, I get it. Can I get a picture with Tiffany? Yeah. And then they'll come back, hey, I got this food pot. What do you think about that? I don't yes. You should ask Tiffany Why on should that. ask Tiffany on that? <laughs> I, dude, I saw that. Where, where they always wanted to pull Lee aside and spend 20, 30 minutes. Or oh, long yeah. as they would have him to talk. Dear honey. They wanted yeah. to get a picture, meet Tiffany. They wanted Tiffany, a picture with me. You know, yeah, and, 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 and here's what I would hear. You know, if we were working the same show, they're like, dude, Tiffany's hotter in person. <laughs> I'm like, really? And like, I, yes. And then there's like, and that freaking Lee, man, I had a chance to chat with him. So it was, even then I'm thinking, okay, this is awesome. It's like completely like yeah, uh, totally perfect. different people, yeah. you know, and that, that's our relationship. I think works good because they're just very different, but it works together. You know, if we were two people like me, we'd be button heads all the time. I'm stubborn and everything else, but she's easy going and, and stuff. So we get along so good that way. And it just works good. I think in the, in the show and just for life in general, it's just like, you know, toad, Totally different personalities, but right, message they work. They work perfectly together, though. Well, it has been, and and I've been so proud of the success. As a matter of fact, I laughed so hard because we got to talking. So, so Blake Shelton, we we hunted in Oklahoma this year, and he says, "Hey, man," he said, "Did you, on your you're open to your show that? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> did you write that? You know?" I said, "I did." He said, "Well, it's almost like getting close." He said. Life is good, life is fine, life is fine. And so he started <laughs> making fun of Bone Collector and, and us, which obviously, if you know Blake, oh, it's oh, a compliment yeah. because that means he likes us. Yeah, he maybe said, he likes us, yeah. He said, so you're telling me, you know, two of the most popular shows at the time, getting close, you know, and Bone Collector, the best y'all could come up with is, mm -hmm. <laughs> and life is good, life is fine, life is fine. So that's the best y'all could come up with. And dude, I got the laugh, and I'm like, man, I'm gonna call Lee and Tiffany now. I'm telling you, Jones, I'm knocking on us. We should have wrote us something. I mean, it's like, where was he? It's like, put it back on him. He should have wrote something. I know it. It's all we can come up with. It's like, oh, Blake, oh my gosh. We used to call him Shaky Shelton. Did you ever know that? Because he would get so fired up when he was like hunting and deer hunting, and he would shake the whole tree. So we call him Shake Shelton. Dude. Oh, That's what you love about him, though, because yeah. you know it's not like fake and air. It's like, like honey, but you get out there and the deer comes by or an elk or something, when somebody's shaking, shaking and about falls apart, you know that they love it. You know, That's what's awesome it. about him, yeah. That is awesome. I, I do have to tell one story talking about when, when y'all's success took off, and it was right at the beginning of getting close when that show first launched. And we had no idea, no idea. Oh, God, and I remember to where really almost simultaneously it, it changed for both of us, like where we were getting the chance to like, get excited to be At around show. the shows mm -hmm. and just hanging out and we could go eat and chill. And it was almost like a, even though we were working, it was like a little mini vacation. We could all get it together. It was like fun, yeah, yeah. that's what we did. We, we went to have, to have parties, to oh be honest. God, I mean, we went just, to go to the bar and hang out. Yeah. And it was just a big party. And, and and one thing that hits me, I remember it was in Ohio, at, at the, I think it was Jurassic. And we we had just started Bone Collector. Y'all had y'all the show rolling and going and, and, um, and somehow we met up at the end of the evening. I don't even think we were going out. We were just like, literally, we were We were go. like dying Yeah, we were so point. tired. Yeah. And I look, and I look at poor Tiffany, and her left shoulder was nothing oh, but like armpit stains. Talk about yeah, that. Yeah, she was, because Tiffany, and, and every yeah. guy was was hugging on her, and it was an outdoor event, everybody sweaty. And I looked and, and I said, my God. And they their own coolers and I, beer. I wanted to pick you up and, and, and just tote you back, because <sighs> I'm thinking, this girl has sacrificed all day in we 100 degree heat. We one. still talk about that one. And you know what? That was probably the third time I had to actually change a shirt. It was just It was so literally stained. Her, yeah. her left shoulder had armpit it stain had armpit where every stain dude, shirtless man, was coming and hugging her. And she never complained. She never had any prima donna sit there to the end. And I remember then, like, Lee and Tiffany, they're not stars because of what uh -huh. they do. They're stars because of the way they treat people. And 
I don't know, man. I've just been so proud to call y'all friends. So happy y'all success. Uh, uh, thanks, Your family. Michael. Oh, you my goodness. That I just, very much. it almost like, man, get a little choked up when you see us now running around with these kids and, know, and our families. It's just, yeah. it's unbelievable. Cameron shot his first buck just a few weeks ago, and it was yes. just so yeah. awesome. He's like, what do you say? I smoked it. <laughs> I know. He's <laughs> like, it's I great. smoked it. I'm Jerry, you know, you've done, gone through it with your kids shooting their, their first deer, their first turkeys and stuff. But you, know, you can talk about it, but it's almost like having kids. It was, oh, it's going to be awesome. But you don't, tell you really when it happens to you, 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 you know, you're like, okay, now I'm in that group. Now I get it. I understand, yeah. you know, that. And just for him to be out there with him when he shot his first deer, it was so awesome. I mean, it's just un well, indescribable. Well, there was two people. There was no question. Not that I ever questioned that you would be a great father. I think everybody saw the nurture in Tiffany. That's why everybody loved her. Yeah. But two people I knew that when they become a father was going to be obsessed and be the best fathers ever, ever was Lee Lakoski and Tom McMillan because I'd been, I'd been around them yeah. and I knew how driven they were and focused, you know, like uber focused. But I said, man, when, when Lee has a kid and he's got this little old knucklehead running around, dude, it's crazy. But it is funny too, to like watch Cameron because you know, in all reality, he's very, um, He's kind of happy like me, but he's very like he overthinks things a lot. You know, he's kind of like Lee like that. At technical mind. Very yeah, technical yeah. mind. And he was we were like, Cameron, do you want to go shoot a deer? And he's like, I don't know if I'm ready. And he's like, he's been shooting a cross. I mean, he shoots a bow and you know, stuff, you gotta but he, he got to practice. It's got to be perfect for him. You know? Yeah. That's but he's awesome. like, I don't know if I'm ready. And then so he's Reagan, definitely got you and yeah, but a good like, mix. I'll do it. I'll do it. He's like, yeah. if he's not going to shoot a buck, then I'm going to. And she's five. I mean, just a little peanut. And he was like, ah, no, I'm going now. And then. <laughs> It was so funny though. She's yeah. like, I'll do it. If she's not gonna shoot That's one, I'll awesome. do it. Yeah, it's but, crazy to see how different they are and how they pick up different traits from both of us. But he is like so anal and focused on things. Like you get him a car, he'll, he won't get in it. Like, like an electric car, he'll spend like a, a week looking at it and putting it up on a little jack. He sees me like put our Rangers up on the jacks and looking underneath and seeing how the wheels work and how does it work and stuff. And then he'll get in and drive it. But it, it takes him Yeah, then you forever. don't get him yeah. out of it. But, Dude, you know, that is, like, that's daddy right there, man. Uh, that's daddy. <laughs> But I, I saw your youngest got a dirt bike. Cameron's got a dirt bike too. But oh, really? we haven't even had to be able to get it out yet because it's been like rainy. Frozen. No, rainy. it's, it's been, been rainy and really? mud in Iowa this year. It's been well, crazy no weather. Fun. So yeah. yeah, but yeah, they are they are fun. But it is crazy to think how long we've all known each other for sure. We just they're growing up. That only means we're growing older. But by God, I think we're all enjoying it now more than we ever did. I know oh, we're, doing sure. we're like smiling when, bigger than we ever have. Right. When you're talking about people like, oh, Tiff's hot or whatever, I'm like, oh my God, I'm like old mom now oh. i'm like if you even think i'm like but, moly tractor i'm like hey i'll take it I'm but like, you hey, still that's are still you, that's still good you still are tiffany you're, you're beautiful it, yeah. inside oh, thank and you. it's inside and out that. and that's what people see it's that. inside and out and uh i don't know i'm just glad to call your friends i wish we did have more time to do more we could talk for two hours but i also oh, wish sure. we had time to get the families more together but oh my gosh so I, proud of what it would be done. a lot of fun that's for sure it's like to be a bunch of little train wrecks running around i it's so funny because we had ours at the ATA show and I was like, oh my gosh, this is, they're like, where are your kids? I'm like, they're over there somewhere. Sure. I don't know. I don't Just know. For a minute, Tiffany, you'll Lee find over there you have a kid that lost and found. I'm like, <laughs> that happened people, to me one time, actually. And I'm like, well, at least people know who we are. So I'm like, nobody's <laughs> going to let them out of the building at least. So I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Somebody pick them somewhere. up, take them to lunch. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you got to, you Michael Waddell, your child is lost. I did at the NWTF. Yeah, I had a, had oh. a they paged me like, would McCoy and Addie Waddell's parents please come to Lost and Found? <laughs> now I'm at the bone click booth and I'm like, hey, uh, you can, can somebody go check happened, on that? I, I think that's my kids. <laughs> you can see how that would happen though. Like yeah. we had George oh, yeah. watching them because they oh, want to yeah. look at stuff, but you're stopping you. You know, you know everybody at these shows. You stop and you want to talk to them for a minute, and they're yanking on your shirt. Well, you have, like, George we're just is watching our child, their children. <laughs> and I'm like, this is terrible. I'm like, this is what happens when my mom is not around, obviously. And I'm like. Probably eating m ms got a lollipop. 1,000%. Like, I, walking around, I'm like, what do they have on? You know, and he's like, well, I mean, that's what they wanted to wear. I'm like, I know it's sometimes you were a parent, George. I'm like, what are we doing here? He's exactly. like, I Yeah, the kids are out. like, kids come back. George is eating too much candy. He's got too much. <laughs> That's, they told him. The so yeah, it was like honest God truth. It's like I, we're like George has our kids. I don't know. I mean, because actually, a lady, she's like, I was gonna message you on Facebook because I saw Cameron and Reagan, and I didn't see anybody around them. And then Cameron left Reagan, and I was gonna message you, but then he came back for her, and I'm like, oh good. <laughs> I'm glad Cameron's coming back for his sister. So oh, that's goodness. that's good. That's but. the best. Well, it's so good to sit down and chat with you guys a little yeah, you bit. Too. And again, so proud we of y'all. We need to do it more often. I we tell you. We need ya. to do it. 
And, I and I'll never ever forget when you came down to Iowa that year and hunted. That's how long it's been. And Mason, I just love Mason. And oh, he yeah. He just loves went, you too. He, he loves you. He always, he talks about you. Can I you. sleep at Miss Tiffany and Mr. Yeah. Levy? <laughs> you, want to, you want to sleep in our room? And you're like, no, you yeah, can't he, sleep in there. He, every time and he would, like, he'd lay on the me, couch with He Tiffany. would lay on uh -huh. yeah. now, How old? He was probably like five at that time. He was like five or six at that five. time. Yeah, yes. now he's. 22, he's man, here, he's yeah. working in the industry. Yeah. He's he here. For what? He's working for Expedition. He's he's helping sell clothes, working in marketing and sales. And yeah, he was yeah, walking crazy. around. I, I, awesome. I, he would love to see y'all. He, oh, he talks about y'all so much, but he does. What he, a nice kid. It's like, I always loved him back then. And he would just like sit on my lap and like, just sit there, it was so funny. It's like. Well, I can tell you one thing. If, you're, if you've always been a fan of Lee and Tiffany and you're secure with that, you should be secure because this is why they're America's favorite hunting couple is because they're all American, they're real, they're legit, and they're just good people, period. And that's really all I got to say about Lee and Tiffany. And they happen to kill giant deer. <laughs> we'll take that. We certainly hope you enjoyed Outdoor Bites with me, Michael Waddell. Thank y'all for watching.